Welcome to the 2020 Fall Sports Awards. Like everything else in 2020, this looks a little different, but it doesn't change the fact of what we're here for. And that's to honor you, the student athlete, for all of your hard work, your dedication to make Viking athletics great. Good afternoon, I'm Coach Luce of the uh, soccer team at, at Valley. And uh, I'd like to go over, uh, do a quick overview of our season and recognize some individuals who, uh, it, who won awards this year. First off, I'd like to thank our Superintendent Blaine Conley, our Athletic Director Aaron Butcher, Principal Brandon Kreska, AP Joel Grendel, thank the parents of the players on the team, and last but not least, uh, Jen Backus, our trainer, who kind of held us together for the period, uh, for, for our season. Uh, it was a really uh, strange, interesting year with the COVID problems that we had, but we were just thankful to get through the season uh, given the strange circumstances that we had to endure. The season was kind of up and down. Uh, we dealt with injuries, the problems with the COVID virus. We had schedule changes, so we had to remain flexible uh, as, the, as the season unfolded. Uh, one thing that was certainly true is we were very young. Eight of our 11 starters were freshmen or sophomores, and our inexperience at times during the season showed on the field. Uh, I would say uh, two highlights of the season that I'm most proud of was making the Winnemac Championship round of the tournament toward the end of the season. We uh, were able to beat Winnemac without our two all-conference players, Arturo Dominguez and John Ruiz, one to nothing to advance to the championship round of the, of the tournament uh, to where we lost to North White. The other highlight was a uh, game against Lakeland Christian where Arturo Dominguez was not able to play. We were down 3 nothing with 20 minutes left and we were able to score three goals in a period of about 15 minutes to tie the game at three, and that's how the game ended. Uh, even though it was a tie, it wasn't a win, it was a tie, it showed what we're capable of doing when we put our minds to it. Uh, overall, I think we showed growth. We finished the season four, eight, and two, and two and five in the conference, and with 16 of 19 uh, potential stars, potential players coming back next season, I think our future uh, is very bright. I'd now like to uh, take a few minutes to uh, give individual awards, recognize some folks that had uh, really, uh, really, really good seasons for us. First off, I'd like to wish our three seniors that were losing, uh, Arturo Dominguez, Caitlin Neese, and Luis Castillo, best of luck and thank them for their dedication uh, to the program over the four years that they played. Uh, now time for the awards. I, had, I mentioned a little earlier, uh, we're proud to have placed Arturo Dominguez, a senior, and John Ruiz, a sophomore, on the all-conference team, the, the Three Rivers all-conference uh, team. Honorable mention were Christian Ramirez, sophomore, and Caleb Pe Petkin, uh, junior, and we're looking forward to having them both back. Our individual team awards, uh, medal attitude, Tyler Jones. Tyler stepped in without, uh, without missing a beat as our third string goalie. We had to go down to our third, uh, th our, our three goalies. Uh, Alexis Hernandez was injured against Culver. Uh, Counting Courts was injured against Rochester. Tyler stepped in and did a great job toward the end of the season. Most improved, David Rias. He stepped in. Uh, secured a starting position midway through the season and was instrumental in playing really good defense for us. So he was our most improved. Uh, we had co-MVP offensive players, Christian Ramirez, who led the team with 13 goals, and Caleb Penkin, who followed with 11. Both will be back next year. Our MVP on defense was senior Arturo Dominguez. He essentially cleaned up a lot of, of uh, he, he took care of the back line for us and did a real good job all over the field. He distributed the ball well, getting the ball up to the next level, and we're going to miss him dearly. Our Spirit Award goes to Caitlin Neese. 
she organized our team prayer at the beginning of each game uh, and kept everybody encouraged when times were tough. Team MVP John Ruiz, midfielder, uh, did a great job both offensively and defensively, uh, led the team in assists, and was a, was a constant threat uh, on offense. And our booster award is a co-award as well. That goes to freshmen's Caitlin Stump and McKenna Smith. Their attitude uh, was exemplary for the entire season. They would help with the equipment. They got the field set up, never complained at all. And although they didn't get as many minutes as I wished that I, I could have gotten them in the game, they, their attitude throughout the entire season was fantastic. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we're looking forward to next season. So I hope you enjoy these awards. A special thanks to Mr. Kindig's radio and television class for putting these together. And go Vikings.